The first step in designing a woven fabric is to define the product. Questions should be asked such as, what will be the target market for the fabric? Home fashions or apparel? If apparel, would it be women's wear, men's wear, juniors, or children's? What will be the end use for the fabric? Dobby fabrics are woven on a loom with a limited number of harnesses. Because the weave is limited by the number of harnesses, Dobby designs are usually small and geometric. Dobby fabrics can be made entirely of yarns of the same color or type. The woven design of solid colored dobbies becomes obvious as a result of varying light reflection off different areas of the weave, creating a textured look. Dobbies can also be yarn dyed, in which the warp and filling are different colors, or where the warp or filling contain numerous colors which will add dimension to the weave. The selection of yarn, the size and texture of the yarn can dictate what type of weave should be used. Different sizes and textures of yarn, such as chenille or boucle yarns, can greatly affect the appearance of the fabric. The fiber content of the yarn can also affect the appearance of the final product. Yarns with high sheen, such as mercerized cotton, polyester, or rayon, will produce a fabric that has a high sheen. Fabrics containing black and natural yarns can be over-dyed so that the natural yarn takes on any color while the black yarn remains black. Blended yarns can also be used to create surface interest as well. Different fibers such as cotton and rayon react differently to the same dye. Other combinations of fibers require different types of dyes allowing many different color variations of the same fabric to be produced. The fabric can be cross-dyed in which the cotton fiber dyes one color and the other fiber dyes another color. They can also be union dyed, where two different dyes are used to dye the two different fibers the same color.